Hello everybody, my name is Zervak and I'm gonna bring you another Photoshop tutorial. And this is these are all gonna be basic tutorials, uh welcome to my new channel by the way. Um these are all gonna be Photoshop basic, really basic tutorials. Um eventually I'll get in like the medium range and maybe a little harder, but for now, um a lot of people are requesting Photoshop tutorials, easy ones, so um, I'm going to show you today how to get wrinkles out of an old person, or really any kind of blemish that you want to get rid of. So, uh, I could open up Photoshop, of course, and uh, I got this guy. This guy's name is Frank Lynch, apparently. And um, I thought it was just really perfect, so uh, basically to get a picture, you can just go to Google and type in uh, old person headshot or headshot, whatever. And um, by the way, this is a headshot, not as in a game. <laughs> so you're going to want to bring this to the layers and copy it. So in case you mess up, then you can always just go back to the original. And then we'll go to this band-aid looking tool. Um, maybe it'll be on spot healing, I don't know, but look for the band-aid and make sure it's on healing brush tool. And I'm going to put it up to maybe 20... We'll do 29. That's a little big, but it'll work. And then you hit alt and click on a piece of skin that isn't wrinkly, so maybe around the eyebrow if we're going to get rid of this. So click that and just keep clicking and it should blend it automatically see look no more wrinkles and uh, now I can do his eyes I'll show you this it's pretty neat look at that no more wrinkles under his eyes look at you can tell the difference already that is beautiful he looks stunning already <laughs> Let's see if I can finish this up. And may, you basically want to match the coloring, so let's do this here. It's a little dark. Yeah, let's see if I can get rid of this, actually. The darkness under his eyes looks like his wife beat him. <laughs> oh, that's obnoxious. There you go. And see that little spot right there? Right, right there, right to the top left of my little cursor thing. It's easy to get rid of. Say it's like a, like a little blemish or a pimple or whatever you want to get rid of on yourself. You just click it and boom. Look at that. It's gone. Look at that. You're going to love my nuts. Um, well, I got something on my screen here. I don't know if it's... Uh... And boom. That little thing, gone. So look, at, look at the difference. Looks so much younger. So much more pretty. I don't know if that's on my screen either. My screen is very dirty. I should probably clean it up. And then boom. That thing, gone. Look at that. Look how much younger he looks. Come on. Let's get rid of this as well. Get rid of his chin wrinkles if you want. Just kind of click everywhere on his chin. I'm going to keep those uh, mouth wrinkles because everyone has those when they smile like that. So let's see, get rid of these ones. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Oh, nope. I think we're going to leave those. Let's go two step backward. I might be able to fix it a tiny bit. That looks phony. The main thing that you want to do with Photoshop as you don't want to make stuff look phony. So let's fix up his forehead a little bit more. And let's fix that right there. And then that. And boom, look how much younger he looks. You can also uh, look at all those wrinkles that we got rid of before and after. That is just a huge, huge difference. Let's see if I can uh, put a side by side. And, uh, oops. This will make it a bit easier. <laughs> Let's find him. Where is he? You know what? I think I threw him out. Oh well. But look at the difference. I'll keep clicking on that. Look at that. You can tell in his eyes, too. If, by the way, I can do. Let's, let's do two and one. So, guys, make a new layer. I'm going to teach you how to colorize. And uh, let's make his eyes... You know, dark purple is my favorite color, so let's do dark purple. And then we're going to want to zoom in right to his eyeball. 
whatever eyeball you want. You could colorize anything. Um, just not eyeballs. But I'm going to do his eyeball. That's still too big. So I'm going to do maybe six pixels. And just go along his eye. Alright. Just go around his eyes. And then gonna want to go to the other eye. And it doesn't have to be too too neat since it's gonna be zoomed out a lot. So just color it in really and then go to color. Go to up here, you'll see normal. Go down to color, it should be at the very bottom. And then zoom out. And the eyes are purple, whatever color you want to make them. And uh Let's, for shits and gigs, guys, the last thing of the little tutorial. Oop, wrong layer. Let's give him gauges. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to want to go to, here, I'll show you. You're going to want to go to filter, liquify, and uh, you don't want too big of a brush. Uh, brush has 100. I'll bring this down to maybe about 30. And uh, click on the little little pointer finger, it's called a uh, forward warp tool and you're gonna wanna grab his ear, ooh wait that's way too small, maybe a hundred was about right I can get to 106, 121 that'll work, and you wanna just stretch out his ear you wanna do that to both of them obviously oh. it's a little bit too big of a brush but it'll work and then, so look, it looks like it's gauges already. Click OK. And then, make a new layer. And let's take away these eyes, they're obnoxious. And then, go to your brush tool and match the brush size with the ear. So, I think it's going to be a little bigger than 47. Maybe about 60 for this guy. I'm going to do 62 and do whatever color gauges you want. <laughs> I'm going to do bright green, just for the hell of it, and boom, and boom. Okay, look at that. Looks fake, right? We're going to fix that. So go to FX on the bottom, bevel and emboss, and you're going to change the style to pillow emboss. And then make the depth not too, too high, maybe about 60, 62. Change the size down to... Eight. I'm gonna change the depth a little bit more. See if that makes a difference. Uh, Fifty-two, I guess. Let's soften it and make this a little more realistic. There. How's that? Look. Now he's got gauges. Pretty funny, huh? Well, that guys was the second tutorial on how to. Uh, Fix his wrinkles in his ears. <laughs> Look at that, he looks so much younger. He looks like he's in his teens again with all his gauges and whatnot. Next, I'll be putting tattoos on this guy. I'll show you how to transform him so it looks like the tattoo is actually on the person. So I uh, hope to see you guys soon and uh, enjoy your day.